Here are 20 PC tips you need to know about. If you're ever typing on your computer and you want emojis, here's how you do it. Just hit Windows period and your computer's built-in emoji library will pop up. When you're on Google, if you accidentally just close the tab you're in, just hit Control Shift T and it'll reopen that window you just accidentally closed. If you ever have a whole bunch of windows open, instead of minimizing them to close them, just grab the window you want to stay open, grab it, hold it and shake. All the other windows will close. On your desktop, right click, go to new, go to shortcut, type in slide to shut down, hit next, finish. Now you have the shortcut on your desktop. When you double click it, a thing will pop up and now you can slide this down to shut off your PC. Go to Google and type this into your search bar. Now at the top, search global. Go down to global media controls and make sure this is set to default. Now, whenever you're watching something, go up to the top right and click on this icon. Hit this icon. Now you can watch your TV show and do other things at the same time. Go to an app that you use a lot, right click, go down to properties, go down to shortcut key and use any combination that's not currently being used. Once you have the combination you want, just hit okay. And now when you hit that combination, the app will launch. Press Windows R. This window will pop up. Now type in MRT and hit OK. Now you can do a quick scan for any viruses on your computer. Just hit next and your computer will scan for any viruses. Just a quick note, in some cases it can take quite a while to scan. So I recommend doing this when you're AFK or doing something else for a little bit. By pressing Control, Shift, Escape, it quickly brings up your task manager. When you're in your task manager, select options and always on top. This will allow task manager to always show up on top other applications whenever called upon. Also in task manager, go to startup. Now go to startup impact and click it. Now right click and disable anything you don't want starting when you start your computer out. This will make your PC start up much faster. Go to Google and snag a GIF that you really like. Now on your Google home screen, go down in the bottom right and hit customize Chrome. Go to upload from device and select that GIF. That'll turn into your background on your Google homepage. If you ever need to lock your computer really quickly, just hit Windows L on your keyboard and it'll go to the lock screen. You can quickly reset your graphics card if you're having any issues. Just hold Windows, Shift, Control, V. You'll hear a little noise and your screen will start flashing black. That's how you know it refreshed your graphics card. You can quickly close out a Windows by hitting Control W. You can change your cursor by going to Settings, Ease of Access, Mouse Pointer, and here you can change the size of your mouse pointer, and you can also change the color. Also in Settings, search Typing and go to Typing Settings. Scroll down and turn on Show Text Suggestions and Autocorrect Misspelled Words. Now when you're typing, it'll suggest words and autocorrect for you. You can change the image of any app on your computer by right-clicking, going to Properties, then select Change Icon. Then you can just hit Browse and select any image on your computer, but it has to be a .ico file. You can just go to Google and search Convert Image to ICO. And you can just go to any one of these websites and convert your image to an ICO file. And once you're done that, you come back here and select the image you want. Hit OK, hit Apply. You may get this pop-up, you can just hit Continue, and then just hit OK. If you want an alternative to Alt-Tabbing, you can hit Windows Tab. And it's a quicker way of just switching to other windows. If you press Windows E, it's a quicker way of opening the File Explorer. A quicker and easier way of scrolling down on web pages is by using your spacebar. By using your spacebar, it'll also make sure you don't miss anything on the page.